welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell by the title I'm gonna be doing a full face using Juvia's Place products um, don't talk about my hair I promise it's gonna to come together at the end you know anywho <laughs> so silly okay so I'm gonna do a full face of Juvia's Place products except the brows only because she does not have any brow products products that I know of I'm pretty sure she doesn't though not yet but I'm I'm sure she will but I already filled in my brows with another product and I'm going to clean up my brows with this foundation here these are her foundation sticks and this is the color Nambia Nam I have a picture somewhere up here because I know I'm butchering that. But anyway, this is how it looks. And I'm going to clean up my brows with that. Okay, so I have the concealer in the color 12. This is how her concealer looks. It has a doe foot applicator. Just gonna put a little bit on my eyes. And just blend it out. I'm gonna use that same um, concealer brush that I So today we're going to be using the Wahala palette. Isn't it pretty? And I don't know what look I'm going for as always, but excuse that one right there. Don't pay attention to that, but it's pretty. So there are some pressed glitters. There are some glitter shadows, and then there are some matte colors as well. So, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of pressed glitter today. So, I'm gonna use this uh, color, it's called BU. And I'm gonna get a fluffy brush to do that. And I'm going to start in the crease of that one. called love and that's this blue color right here I'm gonna put that all over the lid not really what I expected it's a little darker it's a little darker than what is showing up in the pan so it's kind of changing a little bit of what I thought which is fine we can always can always tweak it I look like like I'm going to carnival have you guys tried this Wahala palette? Let me know what you think of it. I've heard mixed reviews about it. So, let me know what you think about it. 
So I'm going to use that same brush and go back into BU. How's that? And I want to blend, I want to blend them in. I'm going to go back and forth since one color is on the purple is on one side and the blue is on the other side. So I'm going to be going back and forth, blending it out. Okay, so the more I'm putting it on, it's like it's removing it. The blue color is removing the blue color. That's weird. <laughs> My eye. My eye shape looks so funny because it. <laughs> Whoa, that is so funny. <laughs> so I'm going to try to use my finger. Ooh, that looks like. I'm going to try to press it on top. Are you supposed to use these with a little glitter glue or? Of course it's glitter, so of course there's a lot of fallout. So, I mean, it's really just glitter packed in there. That's all it is, like a loose glitter packed in there. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty, but I don't know if you're supposed to apply this with like glue or something. It's, I mean, it's, it's going on pretty good. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some lashes off camera and I'm feeling a little better about it. Now, I like Juvie's Place products. This palette, I'm not feeling the glitter. I'm really, not, and, and then that blue, I don't know, if, look, I don't know what is the difference between this palette and the other palettes I use, but the colors are not blendable. Like. Not to me, I don't, maybe it's not blendable on top of the concealer. Maybe that's it. I don't know, but I'm not feeling it. Anywho, let's move on to foundation. So again, I'll be using the same foundation stick. I put a little too much foundation on my forehead, but... We're going to make it work. And this foundation is pretty full coverage to me. The reason I didn't go darker with this foundation is because when I went, the darker, the darker you go, the more redder it looks. And I didn't want it to look too orange. But once I put on concealer and all that extra stuff, it blends out. So don't, don't fret. Okay, so I'm gonna take some concealer, just a little bit. Blend it out with a concealer brush. I want it to dry down just a little bit. So while that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead with, go ahead 
with the Julius Place Chocolates palette. And this is actually my favorite combo to contour with the two of these colors right here. Okay, so apparently my camera was not recording when um, I was doing the contour. I think I left off doing contour. I'm pretty sure I left off doing that. But I did blend out that concealer in the color 12 that I had sitting on my face. I just had it um, sitting on while I was putting on my contour. So it did dry down just a little bit. And then I went ahead and put on some eyeliner and some gloss also. I did use the I Am Magic Setting Powder by Juvia's Place, um, and this is the color Gobi. So, excuse me, but <laughs> um, this Wahala palette, I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan of this palette, and I mean, I, I really can't say the whole palette, but the colors that I tried I didn't like it just seemed like they wouldn't blend right like I was I'm not feeling it I'm not let me know in the comments what you think about this palette if you tried it already if you're gonna try it let me know how you like it like maybe it's different for you maybe it you know it'll come out different for you maybe you'll like it it would be just me <laughs> but um, let me know how you guys like what I came up with here and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Be a part of this glam family, and see you next time.